Welcome to a new video guys. I'm out here by the goats. It has been extremely warm the last couple of days and it's supposed to be extremely warm yet for the next couple of days. So if I look tired, it's because I'm tired of the heat. <laughs> but I'm out here with some of the goats. These are four little weathers now. They're upset with me because they were only made weathers on Sunday. <laughs> For anybody that doesn't know, a weather is a castrated male for goats, just like you have a gelding for horses or a steer for bulls. So they're a little leery of me right now, and rightly so. I'm not offended. But these guys will be grown up for meat market and I'm still deciding whether or not I want to bring them to auction uh, or bring them to an abattoir. Just I'm still trying to figure out what is most cost effective. So out here in sunny and windy Saskatchewan, <laughs> it's probably been the worst week I've ever had with goats. They're all starting to go into rut. Everybody is very energetic. I'm going to feed them their grain right now so that I can actually talk to the camera. Okay, everybody has their treats. <laughs> so I've been having a couple of issues this past week since Sunday. Today for me is Wednesday. Not sure what day it'll be when you guys see this video, but you'll see that there's a really ugly patch on this corral fence here. A few does went into heat last week, Thursday and Friday. So first was Rhea, the Nigerian dwarf goat. So. I put her in with a buck and she got bred. Then came one of my new does that I named Willow. And then the next day came Princess and Kamaraska. So the cold weather spell that we had about a week ago kind of fooled them into going into heat and so the bucks have been going absolutely nuts. So most of you will probably remember that I had Samurai and his ladies in this pen. He broke that panel, he broke the slabs clean off, like you can see down there, kind of, there's one that's snapped already. So he broke those clean off. So I had to patch that hole, Kamaraska had her head stuck through. <laughs> so that one was trying to breed her from the fence and then Samurai was trying to do his business in the on this side of the fence, so it was just a whole mess. So I patched that and then the next day Samurai had been hitting this fence an insane amount of times enough to loosen the whole panel from this railway tie here. But he hadn't quite knocked it loose so I patched it up, I attached it to the railway tie properly again and I thought it was okay and then the next day <laughs> I went to check and he had knocked the panel completely off on this end. It was still attached over here. So I had to sort out all of the does and he was completely, he was ridiculously crazy, Sammy. So everybody was mixed up. The bucks were fighting, the does were fighting. Everybody was not happy. Sami was not happy because he didn't have as many ladies as he thought he deserved. So I had to separate everybody and that is why Sami is now here with his five ladies. So this is Lilibet. Um, I still haven't figured out her name. And then this is Chloe. Still unsure about what her name is. And then Samurai and Princess. So they're in here, they've eaten all the grass down now. It looks really nice and neat and tidy. You going potty? She's actually a very funny looking goat. She's got rhinos. Yeah. And if that wasn't enough, <laughs> Lilibet there, she used to be a bottle baby, so she's really tame. Which is very important for the next story that I'm about to tell you. Because I was moving some young dolings into this pen. So there's six of them in here right now, so maybe it's a little bit crowded. Hi, Pioneer. So that one. 
I've named her Milkshake. That's Marshmallow. That's Coco. And I have to decide on a name for her yet. That's Winchester. And that's Pioneer. But her. That little stinker. Is absolutely wild and you can't convince her that you are her friend. So I was moving some of those dolings from a pen over there to a pen over here because I'd like to have some of the pens a little bit more filled up in order to save space. So Milkshake, the little white with black Nubian doling, she got out. She ran all the way to the end of the pasture over there, like behind the corrals, like all the way to the back. I had to go around this way, down the feed alley and come back around and then chase her back this way. However, she crossed over into this tree line here and then was in the horse pasture and then would have gone over the road if I hadn't cut her off. So, it was a very panic-induced situation, but I was able to keep a clear enough head to say, hey, I just weaned these babies. So Lilibet, the very tame mother that I mentioned just before, is Milkshake's mom. So I tied her up by herself so that she would start crying out, and then eventually I was able to reunite Mama with baby and then lead. My, my mom, she ended up coming over because I asked for help. Because I knew that Milkshake was upset with me for chasing her, so I knew she wouldn't want to let me get close to her and her mom. So, my mom led Lilibet and Milkshake over to this pen where we were able to catch Milkshake, thankfully, and everything is okay. So, it's been quite a week of learning about goat tendencies and what they're willing to go through to either get away from you or get to their ladies. <laughs> Which, oh my gosh, this did not happen last year, but I think the reason for it not having happened last year was not having more than one mature buck. So I had Batman last year, but he wasn't really mature enough to breed until January or so. So, yeah, it's been a wild ride the last week. Sorry if that's a lot of talking, but it's been crazy. 